All right, so here's my chain. It's coming down through this ring. I'm gonna slide this over the dog's head. And when I pull this tight, it's gonna put this ring right on the side of the neck right there. Then I'm gonna take these two fingers next to my pinky and I'm gonna slide underneath the chain so my two fingers are right there where the ring is at. I'm gonna take the tag in and put my pinky over that, close these other two so now I have three fingers holding this chain. Thumb and forefinger are gonna create a little saddle here and when I need to make a correction, I'll use these fingers to pull forward and create pressure on the back of that neck. No pressure is on the throat. If I have to, I can use my left hand and say head straight, head straight, or head straight and help adjust that muzzle. Yeah. Most people teach you to do this, right? And where's all the pressure? And you're disrespecting your dog when you do that. Okay, so here, I'm gonna make a correction, head straight, head straight. So that's putting pressure right here. Good, now show me the head straight position. Okay, so remember, these two fingers are supposed to be under here. And then your pinky, relax. Okay, so put your two fingers in here, next to your pinky. Beautiful. Okay, put your pinky over that. Now close those three. Okay, now muzzle. That's the position. So now if you need to make a correction, pull these three fingers forward and you can see this right there. As soon as you did that, your dog went. Because that puts you in charge. You don't want this muzzle to go side to side or up and down. You want it to stay perfectly straight. And if your dog moves that muzzle, moves anything, you just go head straight. Okay, now with that position right there, keep that hand position, I want you to take this hand and reach over the top very securely, say head straight, and head then straight. put your dog down on, on the ground. Head straight. Fantastic. Okay, now do the head straight position, put the dog back up on the table. Beautiful. Now, there you go. Good. Now get the head straight and don't worry about any of this stuff. If she wants to sit, she can sit. What did she do right there? Hello. You guys should be watching this. You're missing great stuff. What did she do as soon as she put her on the table? That muzzle went straight up in the air, just like that. And that right there can ruin the whole entire show from this point forward. Now, you can fix that though. You can tell her head straight and be in charge and she didn't sneak that past you. You address that situation right there. Good, so if you have a table dog, it's always good to do the head straight, put them on the table. Head straight on the table, put them on the ground. And walk them around, head straight, put them on the table. Head straight, put them on the ground. And you'll start to get faster and faster and faster at that. Okay, so head straight, put her on the ground, and walk her back into where you were. Well, the main thing is the dog doesn't trust you. Nope. So we'll get there. You know, part of it's the head straight. Part of it is doing the objects and things like that. But this, this is all an act right here. The dog is doing all this shaking stuff. and Now, this dog is going to try to distract me. There you go. Look at that big camera. That's cool. The way this dog is going to distract me is by moving feet, moving the muzzle, head straight. Good. Head straight. Now, this dog is telling on itself. It's saying that, oh, I'm terrified. But the camera came by, and it's like, oh, what's that? Uh-uh, head straight. Okay, so this one here, watch these paws. Now, this right here is a distraction. The dog is saying, I'm going to give you something else to focus on instead of the head right here. That's good, and I don't care about that. I'm just going to keep this most. Oh, that was a little sneaky there. Head straight. Good. 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 Now I'm getting lighter and lighter with my hand. Head straight. Good. Good. Ah, 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 ah. Head straight. Very nice. Ah, 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 ah. So as he's losing dominance, what's going on? He's throwing it. Oh, that was good. That was nice. Now don't you put your paw on me. 
Head straight. Head straight. Ah, 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 what did I tell you? Did you guys see that? You are so predictable. We need to just go around and travel the world together. Okay, head straight. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, he thought about it and he's like, I'm going to do it. He deserves it. Head straight. Head straight. There we go. See how better that was? That was more better, huh? Don't you do that. Good job. Okay, stand. Very nice. Stand. Good job. Good job. Head straight. Good. So this is not a dog that's afraid. This is dog, a dog that's not a problem dog. This is a dog <coughs> that should be winning an Academy Award. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. All this is an act. Is this dog ready to show? Is this dog ready to train? No. This dog is not even ready to train yet. Because I haven't earned my respect and trust to start my training program. So this is something that I've got to work through and earn this respect and trust before I even come into the Jackal family and say, I'm going to train you. Now, how many, dog, how many shows has this dog been in? Five, I think. Five? It's been pretty spread out. Because he... He likes the floor stuff. This is our, our nemesis. So she's saying that he's not a problem on the floor, but this is where she's having her biggest problems. Can anybody guess why? She's focusing on the problem. No. As soon as he sees the table, we can do anything down here, but it's like he sees the table and it's like... Where am I, as the handler, exerting the most dominance? Right here. There. And what does he not want to give up? His dominance. His, dominance, his independence. So this is where you're going to have most of your problems. Good. Ah. Very good. Very good. Head straight. He thought about it. That leg came up just a little bit, but he didn't do it. That's fine. Let me see your bite. Oh, look at how. I did head straight right before I took him off the table. And head straight right before I put him back on. Now, look at how loose my hand is right here. Head straight. Very nice. Very. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Very good. So this would be a thing where I would take this dog off the table, gate him, put him on the table, gate him, and each time he goes onto the table, head straight. Each time we come off the table, head straight. And then I would do all the fit pause stuff to, again, see where my gauge is for respect and trust. Yep. That was very good. This time we were there waiting that he was doing everything. Right. That time now. So each time we do this, it's going to get a little better and a little better. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Very nice. Uh-uh. Over here. Over here, over here, over here. Come on. Good. Wait. What happened? This way. Over here, over here. Wait. Wait. Ah. 
Wait. Good job. That was good. Okay. All this stuff I'm teaching you guys, these dogs already know. Look at you. Gone yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. Where's he going? Off the table. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know. He used to. Do the head straight. Straight. That's fantastic. Look so at he's that. He's a leaner. Very good. Straight. Look at that. See how stressed he is when he's wagging his tail right there? Good job. Okay, keep the head straight. Look at this. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. What did you say he was going to do? <laughs> launch off the table. <laughs> you guys ready? He's going to launch any second now. Usually he's at a 45 degree angle. Don't touch me. But is he now? No, he's good. Stand. Okay. Did you see how petrified this dog was? Okay, down and back. Did he just try to put his paw on you when you did that? I don't think so. Yeah, I saw him go like this with that paw. He's sneaky. So this dog is not afraid. Okay, stop looking at him. Drop your hand down. Drop your hand down. Good. Walk backwards. Don't look at him. Drop your hand down. That looked nice. Right, it's a matter of getting it. Okay. Okay. I still don't feel like I've got it. You got it. Okay. Just close those fingers. Head straight. Head straight. Watch this dog's head. This head dog straight. is like, mm, that ain't going to happen there, kid. Head straight. This is where you grab and <laughs> grab hair. No, don't grab hair because then you're being rude. You're not going to earn respect and trust so, like that. I'm not. She's giving the biggest stink eye in the world right there. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, are you head kidding straight. me? Head straight. Off with your head. Oh, she's now up. She's starting to shake. Yeah, now she's starting to shake. These are, ah. but she's not afraid. Mm -hmm. She's throwing the whole kitchen sink in here saying, I'm going to get her to stop doing this, this right is here. This his challenge, child. A piece of cake. Okay. Okay, let me take over. Okay. All right. She's this like, It's going to be the easy part. The hard part's going to be walking around. No. Because it's all directly related. If your dog is not gating for you, the reason why the dog is not gating is because it doesn't respect you. And so if you're having these problems here, this dog's not going to gate for me. It's not going to do anything for me. It's definitely not going to touch those targets for me. Head straight. You can be a bitch all you... Ah! 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 ah. <laughs> oh, that stink eye is priceless. <laughs> Head straight. Ah! Ah! See, I don't care the feet and the sitting and the shaking is all a distraction. This dog is like trying to get me off this head straight business. Ears are pinned back, tails down. You know, don't worry about any of that. Easy. No, it's not anger. It's just like, how dare you? It's disgust. It's like, okay. So when I lift this dog up, she's going to put that paw right on my arm. Come on. No, she's oh. going to push you away. She's going to push me away. That's even worse there. <laughs> Head straight. Ah, ah, ah. Head straight. Head straight. Look it. There's the paw. And here's the tantrum. And a tantrum. You're doing everything there. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Oh, no. She didn't do that. I just tell him head straight and I get that leg off me. Head straight. Ah. Good. Ah. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, head straight. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Ah. Good. Ah. Look at that. She didn't even try that time. Good job. All right, that was good. That was good. Yes, it was. 
That's very good. That's very good. Cool. Okay, let me see your hands. Okay, now you're going like this. I've, that's all I need to do. Okay. okay. So what it's you need to do. To finding all this hair. Yep. We'll get there. Do I have it on properly? Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to take your right hand and go underneath where that ring is at. And your pinky goes like that. Yep. Now close those three fingers. Okay, put this one on the other side. I need a finger over here, not on the side of the head, on the side of the muzzle. Okay, and don't squeeze. Okay, now when she moves that muzzle, you go head straight and you put pressure on the back of that head. Okay, she moved that muzzle up and you didn't make a correction. You guys, let's look up here. If they move that muzzle up and you don't correct that, you just failed that test right there. There you go. Good. Now, go ahead and reach over to pick her up. Make sure she doesn't put that paw on you. See that paw? Yeah. So go head straight. Head straight. Okay. Put her back down again. Say head straight. Head straight. And look at no paw that time. Good job. So you're going to practice with her touching a target, doing the head straight, gating, doing the head straight. You're going to mix this up, and you're going to see much better dogs. Okay, next, please. I don't, want to, I don't know how to do this. You're doing perfect. Okay, so those two fingers, and the pinky goes over this. So put your pinky, close that. Oh, okay. And then your thumb goes on this side. Okay, like and you, this. Yep. This like this. Okay. Good. And then when your dog moves, you go head straight, head straight. And that puts pressure on that. Okay, I put up here. Yep, so pull pressure. Okay, don't pinch here. You should have a finger here and a thumb here. Okay. Okay, so when the dog moves, you go head straight, head straight. And okay. see how it puts pressure right uh -huh. there? Okay, so walk the dog, head straight, walk the dog, target, head straight. So kind of mix that up and go practice. Okay. Okay, yeah. next one. Oh, that's good. Did you guys see how she did that with a loose lead? That was awesome. Well, that takes <laughs> a little while. Like that. Yep. Close those fingers. Yeah. Head straight. Now see that muzzle? Yeah. There you go. They're going to sneak this stuff in. Okay, now put your dog on the table. <laughs> Should I just carry him? <laughs> yeah, just carry him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I would gate this dog, head straight, gate this dog, do a target, head straight. You guys can also do the head straight on the target. Okay, so now you're just doing the head straight. You're developing these muscles. Don't worry about it being perfect there. But you're doing the head straight and making that head go straight. So when they're on a balancing pad like this on all fours, they're really thinking about what they're having to do. Now, if you get to the point where you can get them to do this on their own without you having to reset those legs or anything, then you're going to have a dog that's really going to work well for you in that ring. Okay, go ahead and release and reward. There it is. Now do the head straight. Okay, watch that thumb too, a little high. There you go, good. That's nice. All right, do the rear feet on that pad. So go through the whole course and get her just to do the rear. Okay. So let me see the head straight position. Beautiful. Okay, now your thumb should be on this side. Oh. There you yeah, go. Okay. Yeah, now close that pinky. <laughs> that pinky, pinky keeps that from sliding. Okay, get the head straight. Head straight. Don't do anything with that. It's all with this hand here. Okay. You can use oh, that so hand to help. Fingers under there. Yep. Okay, close that pinky. There you go. See, so this is all that. Get your hand out of there. You're an octopus. <laughs> That's what you want right there. Now you can use that hand to help keep that straight. But this right here is dominance. Mm -hmm. yeah. And once you get that dog, now this should be tight. That's, that's from this right here. Okay. So what's happening is you're, ah, 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 ah. 
Is that dominance? That's dominance right there. <laughs> okay, so get your two fingers. Here's a tantrum. Let me have the dog. Okay. Are you done? Okay, good, good. Ah, look at how dominant this dog is. Okay, see my pinky? My pinky locks that so it keeps this tight. You keep going like that and it, see how it opens up? So keep that tight. Ah, ah, hit straight. So I need to kind of pull it out first. Pull it out like this and put your pinky over it. And see how the dog is doing good? Okay, that's what you want. <laughs> okay, so do that again. <laughs> so Henry is is being different than some of the other dogs. What he's doing is he's not showing like mean aggressive type, but what he's doing is I'm so cute aggressive, yeah. and that's even worse because it's sneaky. No, come here. Here, here. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Come. No, come. All right. Look at this. Look at that head. That says it all. So this dog, if you looked at him, you would say, wow, what a cute little dog. So easy, so sweet. But all of a sudden, it's like inside that brain, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there that's a lot of dominance. So if you do the head straight, gate, head straight, target, head straight, and mix that up, you'll get past this. These are the things that we need to fix before tomorrow. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, you do have. I, I mean, I now, like now, look, look at this. This is so funny. This, th that's dominance right there. That is yeah, it's amazing. Gonna do this and this is what exactly. Gonna so these are these are how you find out where your relationship is with you and your dog, by doing the head straight, by doing the fit paw stuff. All that tells you, wow, I got a lot of work to do. I know. Yep, so this has to be fixed before we start show training. You have the jackal here. And you have the, the wolf in sheep's clothing is what you got right here. Okay, let me have my next dog. You got a lot of work to do. Perfect. Yeah, that's the Yep, just like that. And then you can use this hand to make this go down or help go side to side. Good job. Okay, next. Yeah. If you squeeze this too hard, then poop will come out. <laughs> Don't get frustrated, take your time, and keep in mind that your dogs are gonna tell you, uh, no, that's not gonna happen, because they're not ready for this yet. Remember, some of your dogs have already proven that they're stronger than you. So you have to make sure that you earn that respect and trust to make this successful. But the head straight and the fit pause training go hand in hand. And sometimes you can even take some of the fit pause equipment, put it on a table if you have table dogs. Yep, you should have a head straight first. Oh, okay, okay, can I just do that? Yep, please. I was confused, doesn't take much. Remember, table dogs, always have that head straight first before you put them up on the table. So I can put her on the table and then put her on the No, table. put her right onto the, the, the obstacles. Front feet first, then worry about the rear. Lift up a leg. Nope. Yep. Let her be on that one if she wants. And then we'll scoot these a little closer. Okay, you're right over the top of her too, and that's not good. Okay. There you go. Let right. okay. me borrow her for a second. Head straight. 
Good. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Head straight. Head straight. Head straight. Good. Good. Now somebody go get me a snake. Good. Head straight. Head straight. Head straight. Ooh. You look like a snake right there. Yeah. Good. Head straight. Good. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Head straight. Head straight. Head straight. Head straight. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Good job. But if you get little obstacles here, then you get an opportunity to make it a little tougher for the dog. And then go ahead and take the objects off. Ah, 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 don't you dare do that to Uncle Eric. Head straight. Oh, there's a bottom there, isn't there? Good. Very nice. Ah, ah, ah. What do you see as a difference now? A lot. I mean, she's, she's lined up correctly. And how much work did that take? Not much. You did a great job. So, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So when you do it with those obstacles first, they're thinking about those obstacles, but a flat, steady surface. Now look at how easy this is. Then you go back and you do it with a different object. And you go back when you do it with a different object. And then each time you come back to a flat, stable surface, what do you got? You got a dog that's not fighting you at all. Keep it on the floor, but do the head straight when they're on the fit pause equipment and that unstable surface will give you a little bit of an advantage because that makes them focus on their feet and not fighting you. Yeah. Show me uh, fingers for the... Head straight? Head straight. Well, hi, kid. Oh, now you come over to me, huh? Okay, so the two fingers next to the pinky so go right where that ring is at. Point your fingers at him yep. first. Yep. Okay. And then, so the pinky closes, and then the thumb and forefinger make a saddle. Oh. And you just keep that head straight. And you can see how headstrong he is. He is. Yep. Yeah. So once you get to the point, give me stink eye. Yeah, that's a good stink eye. We're going to dance. Yes, we are. Oh, we're going to be a contortionist. So once you get that head where it stops doing that, mm -hmm. then you can start doing this stuff here and earning that respect and trust. But there's no way you're gonna take this dog into the ring and consistently get ears or expression or gait or anything. Yeah, because yeah, he's gonna do whatever he wants until you get this taken care of there. Okay. Okay, head straight. Or are you doing okay over here? Doing great. Oh, look at that, that's awesome. Wow, what an improvement. Okay, let's go ahead and head in, guys. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking these two fingers right next to where this ring is at. Okay. So see that ring? Yep. See the two fingers? Yep. My pinky goes over the tag end. Okay. That's, this is the tag end. Yep. Thumb and forefinger make a saddle, and I go head straight. Head straight. And that and puts pressure on the back of that head. So you're, are you, you're pulling on that? I'm pulling on that. Okay, so that's the and that's clear on the throat right okay. there. Yep. Now, the further out you can get on this muzzle, the better it is for you. Okay. So, see how I'm, I got extra length right yep. here? Mm -hmm. And I'm going head straight, head straight. And that puts pressure on the back. So, okay. let's see you do that. Okay, so. this pinky has to go oh, over that. Yep. Yep. That yep. And that and locks it from sliding. Okay, oh, yeah, so now put your thumb here and your forefinger there and say head straight. Head straight. And then Do that this. puts that pressure on the back of that head right Should there. Should I go as high as there? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now what if he does that? Then you take fine. this hand and yep. you tell him knock it off, but don't put your thumb down like okay. that. Just. You notice he didn't do that to me. No, he didn't. <laughs> but he's saying, hmm, I'm going to go ahead and test you. Okay. So don't grab. Take this hand and go head straight. Just, just like that. Yep. Just like that. And give a correction here? Yep. Okay. And that's all you need to do. And then this is going to take care of all this stuff okay. too. Okay. So. All right. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two fingers next to my pinky and I'm going to put those two fingers right where the ring is at. See that ring right there? Mm -hmm. So, and then my pinky goes over that. So these three fingers are together. Then I'm going to put my thumb and forefinger on each side 
and I'm gonna say head straight. Ah, ah. See, this dog is really, really gonna test you. This is a lot of dominance in here, and he doesn't want that to happen. Head straight. Ah, 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 ah. Head straight. And this is what you're gonna have to move past because once this dog starts to get some weight on it, uh -huh. this is gonna be a dog that's gonna wanna be a really bad one in the ring. So that's why we gotta get past this. This is like a gauge. It's like, okay, where are we at in our relationship? Look at, look at him, look at him like step that? on my foot. Mm -hmm. I'm going head straight. Just pulling on that. Pulling on it, head straight. And that's putting pressure on the back of the neck, mm -hmm. not there. Look where that is at right there. <laughs> <laughs> head straight so this dog is so dominant right here but it's going to sneak in that cuteness so you've got to really make sure that you gate the dog do the head straight gate the dog do the head straight okay. do the pads earn respect and trust okay pop over here <laughs> and then my other question is what do you do with the leash while you're doing that drop it you just drop it yeah okay. all right so i think Two no, wrong two, two fingers, fingers next to the pinky. Fingers. Okay. Yep. And pinky goes over the tag end. See, and this is great here because this is telling you exactly where your relationship yeah. is. And he's like, this ain't happening. So that's perfect. All right. Don't worry about that. All you want to focus on is the head because he wants you to focus on all the other parts. Got it. And you just ignore all that. Okay. See that head and muzzle going yeah. up? You got to yeah. be quick and you got to fix that. Tell okay. him head straight. So when you do the head straight correction, yeah. you're pulling, you're going head straight, head oh, straight. Down the back. Yep, okay. and that puts pressure on the back of that neck okay. right there. And then so you gate him, do the head straight. Gate him, do the head straight. Got it. But I saw you practicing and you two looked really good out there. Get there. Yeah. Eventually when yeah. I stop looking at <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You guys are going to see all kinds of different stuff in the ring. The most popular one is this one. Now, where's, where's all that pressure? Right on that throat. And that is not where you want that pressure to be. Yeah, it's doing nothing for communication. And since you have no control of the head, what do you see people do now? Bait in front of that face, and, and that's not training that dog. I would much rather have a dog where I say stand, stay, and that judge can admire that dog with me being out of that picture right there. And I can, later on, you'll learn more advanced techniques where I could go like this and it's just like tapping that dog right at the end of the lead. I can control this dog from six feet away. I can be six feet away from this dog in a free stack and if it had more weight than the leash, <laughs> then I could go head straight. <laughs> That's your test to see if the dog's too light or not. So then you pop your dog back on the table. <laughs> I start working with puppies as soon as they go to kibble or hard food solid food and the reason for that and it's all play with a purpose you know I'm just going good good and I'm giving little rewards little treats stuff like that because you remember if you remember the video with the cattle dog puppy that cattle dog puppy followed her hand to the T didn't it yeah. it so now you have a dog that doesn't have any idea that it's in charge of you You've got fresh, clean slate to work with right there. You can bring that dog along and do incredible things with training that dog. What your biggest problem that you're going to have right now is all of you have dogs that have already proven that they are stronger than you. So now you're going to come in and say, okay, I'm in charge because I took a workshop. <laughs> They're going to go, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so you have, to, you have to literally earn this respect and trust. Okay. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. Very good. That's awesome. Great job. Lots of praise. Don't worry about feet. Or that. Because right now you're in a pouting stage, and this dog is saying you can't do this to me. So if you anything that you touch and you focus on, the dog is going to say, "Hmm." So what's going to happen is this dog is going to learn if I put my tail down, that's really going to piss him off. So you don't want to touch anything until you start to get this really consistent right here. Good. Okay, go ahead and potty her and put her away.
this is the first position of the head straight. The second position of the head straight, the only change here is now that you're going to do this, where you're gonna hold your thumb and forefinger where this is okay. next to the side of the face, and you're just gonna bump that and say head straight, head straight. Okay. okay, so put your thumb and forefinger on there, and he's not ready for this, but I want you to learn that. Right. And you're gonna say head straight. Head straight. So it's just at, yep. straight. Yep, perfect. That's so good. It's not as, it's just yeah, it's less. Yeah, so it's a little bit less okay. right there. Now you get lighter and lighter and lighter with that. Now one of the things that will help in the future for you is that when you do the second position of head straight, you can be out here and you can go head straight, head straight, and it's gonna pop him on the side of the jaw mm -hmm. just like that position right there. So that'll help you out with the head straight when you're six feet away from him. Awesome. Now the third position of head straight is going to be just like the first position. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and do the first position of head straight. Okay, and the only difference now is this is going to help you control the head a little bit more where you're going to actually, yes, you're going to oh. use this hand okay. and this one. You're just going to make sure that the throat is free and clear mm -hmm. and then all the pressure is like back here okay. and don't squeeze there. Remember that should come out here towards the end. Okay. okay. So now you can make a correction and that puts pressure there. So it's a kind of a combination of what you see other people do, uh -huh. and, the, ooh, and the head straight. So that gives you a little more control. And if he gets really bad, then you let that hand go, mm -hmm. and you do go back to position one. Okay. So I want you to practice all three of those positions and foot placement uh -huh. and body placement during week two yeah. of the, oh, the five-week challenge. Okay. okay? Now go ahead and walk him into a stack. Very. Yeah, he does everything good on his own. He just, <laughs> which tells me that he just, you, he, you haven't 100% got to the point where he respects you enough for you to move things around. Yeah. So getting you're better, but yeah. yeah, getting better. Like 80%. Better. Right. Yeah, I would go with that too. It would be like me if you didn't respect me. I'm saying, okay, you're going to do this. And it's like, no, 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 don't touch me. I'll do it on my own. And that's kind of like what he's doing right there. Okay. So you really, really need to do a lot of work with that head straight still with this dog, even though you've done it for a year. <laughs> okay. Now, so his front feet, nice and straight. Mm -hmm. The outside of his front foot okay. should match to the inside of his rear foot. Okay. And then good turn of stifle and then the hock joints straight up and down. Now one of the things on that turn of stifle is that a lot of times when you're setting those rear feet, if you set them on your own, see how they want to kick that leg out? Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is you want to break the stifle and then set it. And then that way you get turn of stifle there. So you bring that forward and then set that foot. So now you got good turn of stifle, hock straight up and down. If you just simply go like that, you have no turn of stifle. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and try that. Very nice. That's gorgeous. Praise the heck out of him. That looks beautiful. See, that's all the difference in the world right there. Because most, and the worst thing you can do that I see a lot of is a lot of times people come in from between the legs, lift up the rear and set it down. Yeah. Yeah. And when they lift up the rear and set it down, they shoot both legs straight out. Yeah. Okay. A lot in the street, especially. Yeah. Um,